Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we are in Solly Hall which is just south of Birmingham and conveniently where Gymshark headquarters is located. So we are here for a couple of days just to get some meetings in, planning ahead for some exciting things the rest of this year and into 2022, catch up with the team and just bash some weights around the lifting club. Simple as that really. It's just before quarter to nine at the moment. We're gonna go and grab some breakfast then we're gonna get in the car and head to the HQ. Got some meetings this morning then I'm in the lifting club for most of the afternoon to be honest. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow swim at 5 p.m. and then just getting some dinner tonight as we catch up with a few more of the team. Tomorrow is sort of more of the same, but what I'm gonna do is just take you with me every step of the way, show you my training, show you the setup, show you what we get up to and anything else of note. But other than that, all there is left to say really is if you do enjoy this video at any stage, please do drop it a like. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe down below if you enjoy it, that is, of course. And, by the time this video has gone live, this is the 315 range, which will have gone live. And if you would like to get yourself some, as it fits very nicely, would highly recommend you can do so via the description down below. Right, I'm hungry. I'm going to get some food and I'm going to head across to the HQ. Doing it, bitch. Oh, this looks like it's. time. Alright, so just spent most of the morning in a few meetings, catching up with a few people, planning some things for the end of this year, start next year, and then have an absolute banger of a lunch, which is going to take its time to settle, and I've definitely had it too close to this lifting session, but nonetheless, I'm going to crack on. So I'm about to test my squat, test my bench, and test my deadlift, all to a sort of about 9 out of 10 effort level in the lifting club just behind me there. Can't film much in there speaking to camera as there's music on, and I don't want to get flagged for copyright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head in, I'm going to crack on and I'm going to give you a lifting montage in three, two, one. Yeah. Whoop. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. My life been good and bad and all around. The more things I lost, the more I found. One thing I taught myself to do, no matter the problem, refuse to lose. So, how you want it, man? You can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. See, I walk in slow and ignite the room. Like fire, everything I touch, I consume. I'm getting up while y'all just snooze. While you make breakfast, man, I'm on the move. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever but owns the place, gotta drag me out ah. In me I trust, see I smell like success This Elon Musk, huh? Everybody wanna be like us We don't stop, cause the top just ain't enough, huh? I ain't never gave no fucks I ain't scamming, you know black men don't blush, huh? Came here ready to fight on this night You better just run for your life Won't you come and see what it's like? Living by the rules that you write. 
You ain't know those lavish delights Now you had no back in sight All the little lies you recite Just makes all the savage unite Usually I'm very polite But I'ma get savage tonight Even when a dog be nice Every single dog gonna bite You might think I'm wrong but I'm right Just let it get a strong appetite I'ma let it breathe just a little Give it to you strong heavy metal I don't make a sound when I strike You better just run for your life So session number one is out of the way. Conservative test of my squat, bench and deadlift. 205 squat, 120 bench, 220 deadlift. Quite happy with how they all moved. Squat was probably the hardest out of the three. Just felt really quite heavy on my spine. Probably a mix of calibrated plates, being really, really hot in there and all the riding that I got done on the weekend. About, what, what was it, 120K through my legs, through my spine. So hardly surprising it felt heavy. Bench moved really well. Deadlift wasn't fast, but it was smooth. So happy with how everything's went. That specific figure, 1,200 pounds, will be a little bit clearer towards the end of the year why that's relevant, but for the time being, I'm just happy to have that strength sitting there in the bank without a taper. Excuse how filthy I am, I have been playing around with the big boy tires and shooting some mad hoops, but you don't need to see that. You can just take my word for it. Three pointers left, right, and center. Easy, nothing but there, nothing but there. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the hotel, get showered, get clean, get changed, and jump in the pool for 5 p.m. as it is booking system. First pool swim of 2021, which I'm very excited about, as pools are still closed in Scotland, so I think I've got 10 by 100 meters. Let's go. All right, so just back at the hotel, I've got 40 minutes before my swim at 5 p.m. So just gonna shower, get changed, and sort of figure out what we're doing the rest of the evening. I think we're gonna go and grab a couple beers somewhere, which is very exciting. I was going to do a whole load of assistant stuff in the gym, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow because the weather's due to be nice. We can get a bit more of it done outside, but a bit of a less busy day tomorrow, so I can pack more in. Might do one set on every single machine in the gym and put myself into recovery for about six months, so stay tuned to find out. But I'm going to get changed, I'm going to shower, I'm going to swim. Right, just back from my swim. Well, I'm not actually, I've had a shower and got changed as we are just going for some dinner and some beers. Yes, yes. But swim lane system was not particularly conducive to the session that I had. And I turned around at one point and just saw about six or seven people breaststroking clockwise and thought this isn't gonna work. But I have no right to be in the pool any more than they do. So I'm not gonna complain, but frustrating because I was really looking forward to just get getting on with my session and seeing how my swimming at higher intensity felt which i did for about a thousand meters so not the end of the world enjoyed it whilst i did but now i'm going to go and enjoy a few beers and some dinner it's been a very very busy day I'm gonna have to take this down with me because i've got a little bit of work to do as well but all in all exciting day i'm going to leave it there because i don't want to say something ignorant later on after several beers and I'm just going to want to get to bed as early as I can as a lot going on tomorrow as well but I'm not going to tell you about tomorrow just yet what I'm going to do is say goodbye now say good night now and I will see you in the morning where I will run you through what tomorrow is looking like then Good morning, so on my way down for my second swim of the trip, hoping it'll be a little bit less busy than it was yesterday so I can get some actual lane swimming in. Basically just at 7 a.m. So, warranty shorts and my swimming bag, and 200 warm up, 200 pull, and then 10 by 100 meters, 200 cool down, is what I'm aiming for, fingers crossed. Swim complete, not nearly as stressful as it was yesterday. I've grabbed us some coffees because there's a Starbucks in the hotel and the grab and go breakfast is far from inspiring that the hotel are providing at the moment. So I thought I'd get these to wake us up. 
because I'm a little bit hungover after having four whole beers last night. So win some, lose some, but gotta get sorted now. Drink these, get showered, get changed, get packed, and head back over to headquarters. See you soon. So swim out the way this morning, just on the way into Gymshark headquarters for some breakfast. Excited to see what's on the menu. Absolutely absurd, the quality of the food that they have in the canteen there. So I'm excited for it. Then this morning, once I've had breakfast, bit of work to do. Then in the LC again for some upper body and lower body assistance. Or basically just end myself in there pretty much because there's so much to do and then lunch then a few meetings in the afternoon I've got some work to do as well and then some sprints in the LC with a few of the creative team and then we're on the road back up north after that so jam-packed day excited to crack on but first and foremost I'm excited to get some food in me because it is 9.45 and that's quite a late breakfast for me Busy day so far, breakfast. Then I got a couple of hours work done myself through into lunch. And I think at this point it's worth saying just how good the food is here and it's all free at the moment, which is just mind blowing. I would be so, so swole if I worked here full time, but sadly I do not. After lunch, had a meeting with the creative team around documenting a few projects that I've got coming up over summer and beyond. Then a really exciting meeting with the innovation department, hearing all about the things that they've got going on. And let me tell you, they are exciting projects, as well as a few discussions on some bespoke pieces they can maybe do for the, for the events that I've got coming up, as well as things going into 2022. So watch this space, I guess. One last session in the LC before I head back up the road. I've got upper and lower assistance and some sprints to do. Hoping I can drag one of the assault runners out here and get them done here. The track's about half an hour away, so I thought I'd just keep everything in the LC. But sad that things are coming to an end, but excited that I have one more session to go in the lifting club. So I'm gonna stop talking to you and get on with it. It's so unforgiving. It's so unforgiving. Fuck. I feel like I'm asthmatic. <laughs> Self diagnosed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh All right, so that is that. Got through full upper body and lower body assistance session. Did a bit more than we filmed, but basically just got trigger happy and went mental in the lifting club. And then finished off with some five minute mile pace sprints, head to head with Ash. 
and they just about claimed my soul because the skill mill is difficult and it was on a bit of an incline as well so I've been tasting that metallic -y, bloody, horrible anaerobic taste in my mouth for the past 15 minutes but that's us awesome awesome couple of days really exciting really cool to just see the culture see the brand meet the people that are all behind it and just a really inspiring exciting place so i look forward to my next visit but that has been two days of training and kicking about the gymshark headquarters and lifting club i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please make sure that you give it a like and that you subscribe down below if you're new to the channel other than that please make sure you use the gymshark link in the description if you've seen anything that takes your fancy going into the summer thanks for watching see you next time